What up, YouTube? This is Geostuff R1, and it looks like I have no room for all these cars. Good God. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of space in my living room. Jesus. So I'll wait for guys to come in, and we'll go down each and every one of the slashes that I own. You know, I was going to put the rally on here, but I thought I'd make a separate rally video uh, with the Latrax rally. So I think uh, here's where we go. Eli, what's going on? Uh, e is that Ethan? Ethan, what's up? Mike C, what's going on? Give me one second, gentlemen, because this is going to be a little too crazy. for people to start coming in and uh, we'll take it from there all right sounds good all right so we got Ethan Eli Mike C ghost RC 202 Big Mac RC what's going on Earl what's happening uh, John Lujane, I guess. Or else that's a little ghost. Big Mac. Brother Motorhead, he says. Goes, what up? Or else says, what's up, Big Mac? Ghost says, Big Mac, what it do? Mike C, love your content, brother. Cool. <laughs> All right, so let me start. Um, I guess I'm going to have to turn this to position it a little bit better because I am running out of room here. I'm looking at my phone to, to get all your content. Let me see if I do it like this. How's that look? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna leave this here so I can see what you guys are talking about as we're doing this. Michael, what's going on? Lewis LPRC, what's happening? Slash lineup, nice, y'all, thank you very much. Shane, Z04, what's going on? All right, so let's begin this. Um, as you can see, I have three different slash uh, vehicles that I've owned throughout my lifetime. Uh, like I said, I wasn't gonna put the rally in that type of a category, even though it is on the platform with the slash four by four. Uh, LCG, and in actuality, and actu actually, the rally came out before the slash 4x4, if you guys, a little bit of history on that. Uh, I was one of the first people to get the slash 4x4 Platinum Editions. I did an unboxing video and everything like that. I waited for it to come out, and I was with uh, the first run. And if you'll notice, the year on that, it's 2012 is when I ended up doing that. So it's um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Louis LPRC slash party. See, I like the way this format's going because I'm able to read what you guys are doing and see uh, initially you guys communicating with me. Christian, uh, Christian, what's going on? Smokey, B26, what's going on, my man? Tracy Lee, what's up, man? What happened to the Project Super Jump? Well, I found out if I crashed this into a train, it wouldn't hurt as much as being arrested. <laughs> One of the guys that I know that works for the MTA, he was like, bro, they would stop that train and and just wreck your whole thing. So thank you for remembering Project Super Jump. All right, so um, I'm going to go one by one and we'll talk about everything. Uh, which one would you want me to do first? This is the slash two-wheel drive, uh, lower center of gravity. This is the slash 4x4 Platinum Edition LCG. And this is the uh, slash two-wheel drive HTC. Uh, Interesting one about this, I built this from a wreck. If you guys ever, guys ever seen this video, I bought this from a kid that the thing was totally destroyed and I brought it back to life. It was rusty, it was crazy. Uh, Tiz RC, yo, what's up? 
What's going on, my man? Michael, did you have to modify your Rustler chassis to fit the 3S battery? Uh, the Rustler two-wheel drive, uh, you have to get the uh, battery extender. Um, that's how I did it with the battery extender, so I'm able to fit the Venom battery underneath, and then I strapped the, the other Venom battery on top of it with double straps. Okay, Mike says the high center of gravity. Lewis LPRC, I remember that super jump project. <laughs> All right, I'll give it 10 more seconds. Whichever slash you want me to use first, you can even pick a color, you tell me. And I have a little history with all of them. Ghost, I'm waiting on you to do that, that limitless. If you're noticing, that limitless is what's holding up my iPad, and it's holding up my phone, and it's holding up the power, and it's right underneath us. <laughs> uh, let me see. Jonathan says, go with this one. Uh, Earl goes for this one as well. Is the Proline Chevrolet body... Uh, oh, look, bro. I want you to see this. We're going to go over this, but... These are all the slash bodies I have, and 90% of them are not painted. I'll go over those bodies as well. <laughs> There's, I think, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think 11 bodies over there. All right. Um, let me see. Um, Tiz, Tiz wants to see the blue one, which is that. We got another vote for the blue. Uh Jack, I says the middle, what do I want? Uh, the red in the hood. Earl says armor's getting a stand. Great stand, laughing out loud. Uh, almost a great stand. I got it, girl. <laughs> I just got that one. Uh, Go says, I noticed that. Tiz RC, Limitless, uh, like you did the Rustler. I have a lot of plans for the Limitless. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, let me see if I can. I don't want to knock over the. I don't want to knock over anything. But before I even got, I already have a body available for the Limitless. Just to give you a heads up, there are parts coming in for this Limitless that you have no idea. I have a custom um, custom design company that's going to be making my decals for this. So this is going to be a very special project for me because it is my first Arma. Alrighty, so everybody says go with the blue one, the blue one. A few for the silver, the monster. Wow, it's a choice between that or that. Interesting. Oh, I might have gotten blurry. I think I got blurry. Focus, focus. There we go. Let me just move you so you guys can see. Why is it that I feel like I just... Hmm. Am I fitting everything on the screen? I hope so. I hope everything is fitting on the screen. I don't know. All right. All right. Uh, the silver one... Uh, the monster, okay, CC, silver. All right, look, we're going silver, all right? Silver it is. Sorry, blue one, I think you're going to be the next one that's coming over there. Blue one is out. Red one's out. And I'll put you on the side. And we are going to do, I'll bring you a little closer. We're going to do the silver one. All righty. Now, um, here's where we're going. Uh, here's where we're going with this one. This was a special project, a little bit of history on this uh, Traxxas high center of gravity um, slash two wheel drive. So there was a kid at the hobby shop. It, there's a great video I have on this. If you type in Geostealth R1 Traxxas uh, slash two wheel drive, high center of gravity or H, uh, HCG. Um, it's a great video because that thing was, I had to use every extra slash and rustler two wheel drive part to even bring this back to life. So as you can see, um, the body has a lot of dust on it. This is the Amsoil body number seven. Um, this is what I ended up choosing and I will go into what's in the RC. Uh, I totally forgot that I, actually, that I actually left parts in this. So let's talk about the parts that I still have to install. 
I have the Intigi metal cover. Now, if you guys know a little bit of history, this is one of the... I have to say, this is the first upgrade in all my cars. Out of all my cars. This is the first upgrade I did, and that went into my Rustler Mamba Monster. That one over there somewhere. Yeah, the orange one. This was the first upgrade I did for anything. And this holds special special meaning to me on, on that. Um, and this was the original bulkhead when I started utilizing the um, 100 mile per hour. I changed everything from that, the silver aluminum to orange. Uh, I think I gave the transmission case to a good build that I did and somebody bought that. So good history on this if you guys ever knew um ever knew that all right so let's talk about what's even upgraded i don't think too much is upgraded on this rc i'm going to be honest with you i just wanted to bring this back to life this is not this wasn't like a geo stealth r1 customizing project where there are tons of upgrades but there were a ton ton of labor went into this so as Oh, snap. I have the pins here. One, two, three, four. Oh, here. Okay. So we'll start with like this. This is the Proline body mounts, and you have to screw them on top. Am I a fan of it? No. It breaks the body. It cracks the body very quickly. I wasn't a fan of it, and it's a pain in the butt trying to get these things out. So I, I, I well, have a little bit of foam. There's no, there's no battery extender in here. I have um, the old Valenian system for the two-pull motor. Uh, the 2075, it should be a 2075. I don't think I'd put anything cheaper in there. Nope, 2075, uh, that's in there. Uh, stainless steel, I'm surprised I even did this, but I knew I needed the parts for it. You know, I like the way I, like the way I set this up right now. I, I wish I did this with my other videos where you couldn't, it was like a side view, but at least you're able to see it like this. Tell me if you guys are liking this way better without the shaking and everything like that, which kind of gives it a little bit of better feel. That's my personal opinion. Um... A little bit of history on these. These drive shafts were the original drive shafts I put on my grave digger, and people thought I customized it. It was just a decal back in the days. Um, I did put shock covers. The shock covers that are on here are from Dusty Motors. So those are the shock covers that I put on there. Um, there are no RPM parts anywhere on this. Nope. I didn't put no one. Oh no, I have RPM arms. I had to change out, I'm afraid to lose those top pieces. I had to change out mostly every component. Everything was rusted out. You definitely have to see this video on how rusted out it was. The, uh, the servo was seized, the bearings were wrecked. Oh, and as you can see, which I never used. Eh? I have these Proline trenchers that are on here that made it a monster slash. So. It got a lot, it, 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 it was brought back to life, but I never got to utilize it, you know, uh, once I brought it back to life, because I was like, you know, I, I wasn't, a, I could have cared less about it. I just wanted to build it and show that every RC deserves love because initially that kid was going to throw it away. He sold it to me for $50. The motor was still good. The, uh, the ESC and the motor were still good. And um, I had to take care of the server. The server had to be changed out. But everything else worked well. You know, I just had to change out so many parts that I had left over that, um, yeah, it's an old school vid. I had to change so many parts in this that it was just sickening, um, even doing that. So that's a little bit of history on the Slash two-wheel drive HGC or HCG. Uh, higher something to grab it, HCG. A little bit of history on that one. Uh, for all you old school guys that have seen my videos, I mean, everything is tuned out. I mean, it's a great car. I, will I ever drive it? Who knows? You know, I'll probably let um, somebody drive it. Somebody got to get this, drive this car. I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, so I'm going to put you inside. And I believe the next one was requested was the Traxxas slash two-wheel drive Lower center of gravity, and I'll have that ready for you guys right now. Bum, 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 bum. All right, before I get, you know what? 
All right, so this one I was building to bring on the racetrack. I literally, they wanted more of a stock vehicle and stuff like that, but you were able to put some, some goodies on this, which I was hoping to do, to put some goodies on this thing. And I never did. And I never did. A lot of the stock parts, uh, I have the upgraded tires upstairs, uh, downstairs, but this is the junk or gunk, sorry, gunk. Uh, the number 25 car, as you can see, the body's still on point. Uh, these are the Traxxas Road Venture. These are the stock wheels that I had for this car, which is a cool additive piece. Um, but we're going to crack this lid open. And when, when I open this for you, don't be upset because there's a lot of parts in here that a lot of people are going to get upset that why haven't I driven it? Because I was trying to make this into a race vehicle. So I started buying race components. But let's begin. Alrighty, so let's start off this video by representing Dusty Motors. Dusty Motors is something that I believe in. Um, I've been utilizing Dusty Motors for God knows how long, you know. So uh, this is this is definitely a cool RC to have. Uh, well, any RC that you have, most m almost all my RCs that are that I bash around with or anything like that have Dusty Motors on there. So I have the matching blue one. I'm gonna take the shroud off. So you guys can see the meat and potatoes of this. All righty. Oh, man. There's somebody. Somebody did something. What the hell did I do here? Okay. So um, it looks like your boy was doing so. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. You're going to see this whole thing taken apart for the main reason is because I took the audio system out of here. And I was one of the first guys to put the audio system in this thing for a VXL. Because um, initially the audio system came with the brushed motor and I had the VXL, so I adapted into my system. Now, um, that's why this thing is taken apart. So I'm going to go from front to back and give you the heads up of what I've init initially I've done to this. And you guys can uh, figure this out. And I know I took, I, I cannibalized this a little bit. So I have the RPM front bumper, which is in silver. I have these Proline Spec Race um, shocks. And these race shocks are very expensive. Extremely, extremely expensive. Um, I have the RPM shock tower. I have the regular links. I have, I think this is either, either Traxxas or Integy. I'm saying it's going to be Traxxas. Traxxas bulkhead. Uh, RPM arms, RPM caster blocks, RPM steering uh, knuckles. Uh, it's still running on the 2075. I believe that's the uh, Traxxas aluminum steering. Uh, as you can see, this is the blue lower center of gravity chassis. I have the RPM shock. Uh, this is the shock tower. This is the body mount for the front. I have the RPM body mount for the rear. I have the uh, RPM shock towers. Here's the rear uh, prospect shocks for their RPM um uh, caster blocks and um, RPM rear, what do you call that? Rear arms, which are a little bit shorter for the slash uh, two-wheel drive. As you can see, it's running on a Valenian system. Primarily, I was going to get the uh, Proline transmission case, but they were giving me uh, a whole bunch of crap for that. Uh, as you can see, I do have the, block, the, the beautiful wire mesh that I ended up putting on there, which definitely gives it a nice little pop. Uh, for me to do that. So, uh, yeah, you know, I think, uh, let me see, battery. Oh, there is, this is an RPM VXL uh, uh, holder, which I, um, which I, which I got uh, installed over there. So that was uh, a pretty good install and stuff like that. So, yeah. So I'll give you guys a few seconds to ask me any questions about this one and we'll continue. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 
Alrighty, for some reason I lost signal on the communication side of it. Okay, um, Arma, what's going on? Let me see what, what you guys have been saying. You guys said a silver one, silver one pro line mounts. It makes seem like that. Are, are those trenchers? Yes, they are. I like it this way. I remember old school. Uh, upgrade ESC fan, nice. 50 bucks, that was a surprise. Hello everyone, that was from Marcus. Ghost says facts. Gorilla Bear, what's going on? I have um, I have the Slash, but without the LCG kit, I'm thinking of, of buying it. Eh, uh, the Slash 4x4, yes. Uh, Gorilla says, I'm running my wrestler VXL. I've been watching the stream, laughing out loud. I just hit 59.6 miles per hour on 3S, nice. Gorilla Bear has a VXL system. Uh, good old VXL, yep. Ethan says, is that Willie Barr? Is that Willie Bar on wheels in the bumper? Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even go through that. Uh, I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I rushed it. Aiden says, hello. Uh, Shane says, his freaking jokes aside, uh, my flaps are worth a spare kit. And this is, uh, this is a buddy of mine. Okay, so. Yes, I totally missed that part. Oops, oops. All right, so these are the RPM mud flaps. And these are the RPM uh, RPM bumper, uh, rear bumper. And these this is the wheelie, I guess the, their version of a wheelie thing. MTC Tookie 25. What's going on, man? One love, my friend. One love. Um, yeah, so this is the slash two-wheel drive uh, low center of gravity. And I'm going to pack you up nicely. And we're going to move on to the next one which is the good old Slash 4x4. Now, a lot of people who know about my Slash 4x4 are going to be very, very, very upset because you're going to see stuff missing on this thing. Uh, this got cannibalized. I ended up uh, selling uh, my uh, Kyosho GPT-2VE, something like that, and I took out the Mama Monster 2 system in here. So uh, that's what needed to be taken out for me to do that so uh well for people don't for people who say uh i don't beat the crap out of my bodies um this body is pretty beat up uh very beat up i think on this on this thing i'm running a little bit slower i'm gonna try to get as live as i can and here we go um this is an old body that I have. If you guys look at it, you're going to notice that I've done, I put a little decal right there, YouTube Geostalfar one, pretty old school. I mean, if you guys have watched my videos from a while ago, you'll notice uh, this decal that I had on this slash. Um, I always I always say to you, uh, you always have to run a run body and you have to have a show body. Uh, the show body is one of the bodies I'll show you right now. I like this body so much, I bought it again. And I, I really enjoyed this body, so I definitely had to buy it again. I thought it was definitely, um, the hell did I pay for this thing? I paid $53.99. I forgot where I bought this at. I think with that sticker, that was probably at Willis Hobbies. Yeah, $53.99 is what I paid for this, so. Uh, let me see, Bobby Q, what's going on? Uh... Do a drag slash geo. Oh man, I was I, I did that a while ago. I'll, I'll explain that. Uh, so here we go. Let's open this, crack this thing open, and get ready to be pissed off at me. So I'll go from front to back. Once again, we have the Dusty Motors shroud that's in here. Dusty Motors. And sometimes it does get a little bit hot, but it definitely uh, it's definitely dope in the winter. Keep out the snow, which I think is an awesome uh, piece to do that. Okay, so I do have to swap out the... I don't have to swap it out, realistically speaking, I don't. But I do have the two RPM uh, front and rear arms. If you guys want to know, part number is 80709. Wow. Uh, this is kind of like before... They ended up doing this. Uh, I had red RPM arms. I don't even think they have red RPM shock towers, which you won't find. 
I have the RPM front bumper. I have the Traxxas LED lights uh, over here uh, for the front. I have the Traxxas sway bar kit. I have the velocity uh, drive shafts for the front. I'm still running the 2075. I ended up mounting my um, my electronics on top. Back in the days, I had the Mama Monster system in there. I have a Castle Creations uh, system. I think it's a, a S Sidewinder 2. I don't know. Um, I do have the Techno, R Techno RC center drive shaft, which is definitely a definite buy if you're ever going to do anything like that. Um, I have the... Um, the rear body mount, which is in red, the front and rear RPM shock, uh, towers, uh, have the aluminum. I believe this is either, uh, either STRC or Intigy. I'm going to say it's Intigy, maybe. I have a center diff. I have, uh, metal. It should be metal. If I'm not mistaken. I can't even tell anymore. Okay. Um, the shock covers are from badhorsey.com. The rear sway bar kit, you'll notice over here. Uh, the RPM rear bumper, RPM mud flaps. Don't make fun of me. Um, I have the rear velocity uh, drive shafts. I have the caster blocks in RPM. I got the steering blocks in RPM. I have... Uh, RC screw kit for the stainless steel screws. And these are Proline, Proline trenchers. Yep, these are the Proline trenchers. Now, if you guys have seen history with this RC, uh, there used to be a Mama Monster 2 in this, and me and Everyday RC used to go crazy driving this around. So it was, uh, it was, it was pretty insane. It was pretty insane. So I'm going to put these all these three guys together. Because I just went over the three slashes that I have. Um, am I going to do upgrades? I love driving the slash 4x4. The slash 4x4, I, I, I enjoy uh, driving the slash 4x4. I'm going to put these guys together right next to each other for you guys to get a visual from all three of them. And then I'm going to talk to you about the bodies. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, yo, what's up with these bodies, man? You got to do something with these bodies. And I know, I know, I need to do something with the bodies. Look at you. Somewhat situated. Get it. And uh, where's the other one? Oh, you're on the floor. Okay. Let me get you. Oh, all right. Okay. So now that you see my slashes, I'm running out of room in my living room. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I really am running out of room. So now that you see my slashes, now that you see what has been installed in each and every one of them, I'll ask you this question. What is your favorite one? Now, I think I have to push this to the side. Yeah, I think I just have to, let me see if that works for you guys. Cause I did push this back. Let me push this back. All right, so Team Gizmo says he likes the red and white one. A lot of history with that red and white one. Earl says slash 4x4 build is sick. Man, when I... If you guys have seen the history of my RCs, this is this was... I started investing a lot of things in that. And I should put another Mamba Monster in there just to play around. The red and white one. All right. All right, so... Now that you guys are voting and seeing what's going on, Stuart, uh, love them all, man. Uh, can't beat the OG one. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's talk about the bodies. All right. So as you guys, I always say to you, have a run body, have a show body. So this was my show body. Um, this was going to be a body that's going to be a custom body, which I never did. This, if you guys look at a little bit of history, and if you guys know your history, this, this bad boy was beast. 
I know a lot of guys love the scalpel. <laughs> when I did this, is the scalpel. Uh, let's go down some more. Good God. What the hell is this? What are you? This is the Chevy Silverado. Chevy Silverado. Uh, if you guys want to know the part number on this, it's Proline 335, uh, 3385-00. I actually bought a Silverado body. Wow. What is wrong with me? I actually bought that body. I didn't even know that. Oh, snap. I even have another J Concept scabble body. And Illusion slash 4x4 scabble speed run body. Back then it was $42. Part number is 0240. I'm going to put you underneath this because I know a lot of people get interested in, in watching this scabble body do its thing. I'll put you here and I'll put you on top. All right, let's keep going. All right, so what the what is this one? This is, ooh, remember when I said I wanted to do a pro thing with this? This is the pro body I was going to paint for it. Uh, let's see what's all this stuff. This is the pre-cut, pre-cut Flowtech Ford F-150 Raptor SV clear body pro 2SC slash 4x4 slash two-wheel drive and all that stuff. It's 3366-17. Wow. This is pre let me, this is pre-cut, bro. This is dope as the, if you guys know about the flow type body, that was that was the cast me out right there. Okay, keep on going. Now, I bought this because I, I thought I was gonna start filming. <laughs> Alright, and this is pretty thick, um thick. This is the the blockbuster wait blockbuster video clear body for the slash slash four by four SC ten and the Pro two SC. Part number is three four two six dash zero zero. Basically, what this body did is that it gave you an inner cup where you're able to look at you know a steering wheel and everything like that, but you were able to put your GoPro on there for that setup. Oh, and I think I have two more bodies downstairs. I think I do. I have two more bodies downstairs. All right, so what are you guys saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, Marcus says, all three are cool. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, Stewart says, oh, man. Bobby Q, uh, uh, Bobby Q says, Jake Concept Scapple. Tracy Lee says, slash 4x4 all day. You should rebuild it. I should rebuild it, man. I should. The, the parts there, I could do it. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Stuart J says, I have um, I have the Ford Raptor body. Nice. Uh, Jack uh, Jack H says, where are you from, man? I just started watching your channel recently. I am from New York, New York City in actuality. Uh, let me see. Bobby Q. Um, haven't seen that new Proline uh, Bugatti on anyone's slash uh, RC yet. Yeah, curious to see one live. Man, I haven't painted all these. I don't even know if I can get that Bugatti. Uh, let me see. That's from Barbecue. 1982 Pantero. What's up, Gio? Uh, I love it, dude. He was, <laughs> thank you very much, Pantero. Uh, Barbecue says, Jack, he's in New York area. Thank you, Barbecue. Uh, Ghost RC202, drag slash, uh, slash dragon slash. Let me see. Uh, I'll let you see this. I'm for some reason not letting me do it. All righty. So, um, Jack A is nice. I'm from Albany. Oh, I sometimes go to Albany. Uh, Christian says, Slash or Stampede? Well, if you're talking about... I have two Stamp... I have the Stampede two-wheel drive, and I have the Stampinky 4x4. Um, uh, four four. And then I have all these Slashes. I've had amazing fun with the Slash 4x4, four four, and I've had uh, uh, just nothing but great times with the Stampede 4x4. Four four. Um... Because 
the Stampede 4x4 was an RC that I built for my daughter and it was inspired because of my daughter. Uh, I think that RC has a special place in my heart and that thing is just kick-ass fun to drive. So I think I would have to go with the Stampede 4x4. Uh, Earl says, Stampinky, always laughing out loud. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so there's my Slash uh, my slash lineup right now. Uh, you got to see the Slash 4x4 Platinum Edition and everything that I've done with that. You got to see the Slash uh, HGC two-wheel drive, which I built from the grave up. Had to, like, that thing is like a zombie. And then you see the Race Edition Slash two-wheel drive that I was trying to build, and it just stopped. So, um it seems like you want me to uh, put the Mama Monster Motor back into the Slash 4x4. And if I do do that, and I do conceptually want to build the Slash 4x4 up again, I would definitely have to get a new chassis, because the chassis on this is uh, seen its time. Uh, I probably have to get new tires. Um, yeah, why not? If that's, if that's something that you guys are looking for me to do to uh, resurrect the Slash 4x4 and make maybe make it back into a scalpel, scalpel because I still have the tires. I still have the, the J-Concept tires, and I still have the J-Concept bumper. And I have the mounts to lower the body as well, so that's up to you guys. I want to see the Slash Rip, uh, rip live stream. You know what? Um... Man, I'm just curious. If I put that scalp, if Lewis is still on here, if I put the scalpel back together, because these things, there's a whole bunch of lights on this. I think if I, I'm trying to do a night run with Lewis. If you guys ever get the opportunity, Lewis LPRC has an amazing. <laughs> Am I back on? I think I'm back on. I don't know if I'm back on. Yes, I'm back on. There we go. So, um, yeah. So, realistically speaking, um, that's primarily what's going to be done. I'm going to put these bodies back upstairs. The next video, I'm going to be throwing, uh, what do you think I should do? Should I do, I think the Mini E-Revo deserves its own video. I can do the two rally cars from Traxxas, uh, which is the Traxxas 10 scale uh, rally car LCG. And I can do the um, the other version of it. I mean, it all depends. Uh, the the Latrax uh, version I can do um, with them together, which is both PlayStation bodies and stuff like that. Um, and then I have all the other RCs. The other RCs consist of, um, I still have the Axio Yeti XL, the Axio Yeti 110 scale, the Axio Yeti Junior. I still have the Latrax Teton. I still have the Latrax Alias. I still have the SCX 10. Um, I still have the, and possibly the Kyosho Mini Zs. So that's primarily what I'm looking at. Am I, am I like sputtering out? Is that what's happening? Maybe I should stop the, uh, pulling up so much. Alrighty, so I'm going to look at my phone because it's kind of stopped. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, 
Agreed. Okay, Jack Ace, you got to get a Revo 2.0. A Revo 2.0. I have the 1.0. And if I got the Revo 2.0, I mean, I am missing from that for my collection. Um, That kind of takes away from me getting the Creighton. And also, it takes me. It takes away from me building up the uh, limitless because I have a lot of plans for that limitless, and I have a runway where I live at. So, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Earl says uh, my kids want to see the Latrax you did. Ah, well then that's gonna be I, <laughs> that's going to be the little PlayStation Vita. Uh, let me see, Tracy's. Um, Mini E Revo 116 scale uh, for the win. Oh, wait a minute. I have to do the Mini E Revo 116 scale and the Mini Grave Digger together. I forgot that was another RC I was missing. Uh, let me see. MTC took a 25. Hey, Geo. Didn't Chris use uh, a scalpel body on his slash for speedruns back in the day? I don't think so. I don't remember Chris uh, putting him. I, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember. I don't. That I don't remember. Uh, barbecue says, "When are we gonna see the mini Z race? Uh, didn't you buy that from the track, the Hobby Heroes? No one has bought that track yet. Um, they're looking to get fifteen or seventeen hundred for it." No one has bought the track yet, and I could empty out my whole living room and have a Mini Z racetrack right here, or empty out my garage and have a Mini Z thing over there. Um, I mean, if you guys want to do a GoFundMe account, I can't afford that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, Jack A says, uh, no, uh, no, not to get, do you got? No, wait, no, not get, do you got. I lost that one. Arma says, um, how do you know what is going down with Tommy's RC Garage and Kevin Talbot and whose side are you on? Uh, I'm on Kevin's side. Tommy Lee has been causing a bunch of crap doodles. Um, I guess that's some... Thing other RC related than what I do, uh, I, I I have no idea who who Tommy what Tommy Lee. Uh, I have no idea who that is. Kevin Kevin, I know I know his channel, um, but yeah, no, I'm not I'm not subscribed to either one of them. Uh, Jack H uh, says I have the Revo 2.0 um, and the Creighton Success. My Creighton smokes the the Revo. Yeah, but I want to get the Creighton 8S. <laughs> Earl says, uh, Arma, drama is not worth it ever, 100%. Bobby Q says, drama and two serious people take to fight. Bro, you know what? I Yo, I, I'll tell you a little story. You know, uh, I'll tell you a quick, quick story. So I remember doing a, a live feed and I think, I think at the time I was doing speed runs. And a guy gets on and he said, he literally tells me how badly he's going to smoke me when, um, if I ever bring my RC, RC cars out to him and, you know, he'll, he'll wipe the floor with me and everything like that. And I, and, and I responded, and mind you, I'm on the live stream and, you know, there are people watching it. And I said to him, I said, okay. I said, who are you? And he was like, well, I'm, you know. And I'm like, well, okay, so here's, here's the expectations of this. I was like, you're nobody. I was like, not to say that my YouTube channel is big, but people watch the content that I do and, you know, get a little bit inspirational things from what I do on my channel. And I said, if I beat you, okay, what does that benefit me? Who are you? Oh, well, you know, wherever he was from. And I said, well, well, that's the thing. Who are you? I was like, nobody knows who you are. If you beat me, you beat Geo Stolfer 1. If I beat you, what, what does that help me? I was like, you got money to play with? 
And I was like, look, it, 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 really, it really doesn't matter. I was like, look, whatever car you're going to be, build, okay, fine, you build whatever. I'll, I'll research YouTube videos like crazy. Contact guys that are doing crazy ass things with their cars and say, yo, what do I need to do to wipe the floor with him? Spend the money, embarrass you, but the thing is, is that who are you? I was like, you're nobody. I was like, so I'm not gonna be debating, you know, if you're gonna beat me, if you could beat me, fine, I'm happy, good for you. I was like, I just, and mind you, I, I, was, I looked at his RC channel and I said, bro, I was like, you have two RC cars. I was like, you have two RC cars. So not to say anything bad about you, I was like, but whatever car you have, I'll rip stuff out of my other cars to build a faster car, you know? And then what? What initially transpires from that? Nothing. Nothing. So, you know what? If you want to beat me all day, bro, you win. Okay, so now what? You won. And? Is that going to hurt my feelings? I was like, no, my, my channel's customizing. Now, when I go to do the drag racing events and start hanging out with people, of course a lot of smack talk is going to happen. But that being said, it's whatever, you know? So there's a lot of baby stuff. You know? It's okay, I think you were probably on that live feed. <laughs> I was drinking, I was, I was terrible that day. Hold on one second, let me try to... Okay. Um, Go says, I'm Ghost 202, I want to raise Geo. <laughs> uh, Bobby Q says, um, both of these guys weigh like 200 pounds wet combined. Pfft. Jesus. Earl, Earl says, keyboard warriors, laughing out loud. Geo, OG, gangster, New York style. <laughs> I mean, we, look, like, like. I don't know the other guy. I know I, I've seen Kevin, and Kevin's probably five six, um, five six maybe a hundred and ten, hundred and fifteen soaking wet. As if you, if you guys look at my Instagram page, you know back before this whole Corona thing was going on, I was hitting the gym two two times a day, give or take weights in the morning and cardio in the evening, and I'm six foot. I would say I'm I'm pretty decent shape, you know. Yeah, I would say I'm I'm in good shape. What does it matter, you know? You know, of course I I squash him, but the thing is that he'll probably run run me over with his customized uh, monster truck. It is what it is, you know. It's 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 who has the bigger penis game, I guess. Uh, barbecue facts, Earl facts. That's from Ghost. MTC Tookie says, tighten up. Uh, Bobby Q says, damn, Muppet Warriors. Arma says, uh, it is called Room Warriors. Okay. Laughing my, la laughing, uh, laughing my ass off. That's from Ghost. Bobby Q says, waste of time and energy, Gio, with that drama. Uh, Earl says, Gio, work out for the ladies for sure. Bro. We ain't getting any younger. <laughs> I was like, look at my lifestyle, man. I mean, really look at my lifestyle. I, I, I do RCs, and which is weird because if you see me do RCs, you know, I ride, I have a crotch rocket. I ride a, I ride a R1. And I have a freaking Harley, you know? And I do a lot of extreme things. So my lifestyle, RC is, is my hobby, but my lifestyle is a totally different scenario. You know, like Kevin does RC, but his lifestyle is whatever he does. You know, what is it? I'm supposed to make $100,000 by watching his videos. Okay. That's his lifestyle. So he likes to live that way. Um, where are we at? Icon says, Brother Earl. Bobby Q says, I remember the goose days. Oh, man. Bobby Q, you remember the... I did a goose. I did a goose video recently. <laughs> you know. Uh, let me see. Barbecue says icon. Hey, Armor says drama. Blah 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 blah. Uh, icon says barbecue. Give me a second, people. Okay.
you know? So that being said, look, guys, I love BSing with you guys more than anything. Um, I know a lot of people were very, very extremely upset that I was going to, I was going to just stop the channel. And I was, I was, I was, I was sincerely about to end the channel and be done with it. Uh, you guys did not see me do any videos, any videos other than little BS videos of me doing spin classes or whatever. And I was not going to do it. Look, you see all the bodies that I have here. You see all the cars that I have here. I have more cars downstairs. I have more RC stuff downstairs. Um, and that being said, um, yeah. So by far, I'm happy that I'm able to still do these videos. I'm happy I'm still able to uh, interact with you guys. I, I love the fact that uh, the notification squad, even even though it's, what, how many guys are in here? 21 people? Um, but that that being said, um, I love when I interact with you guys, a lot of old school people that have been with me throughout the years. And I'm not talking about, you know, from the Grey Goose days. I'm talking about when I used to live with my my ex in, uh, in, in the kitchen table of my, of her house, not even my house. She told me all the time that it's not my house. So keep your house, whatever. Um, back in the days when the Rustler Mama Monster was, was huge. I mean, I could roll off the top of my back, um, top of my head. One of my oldest subscribers is MTC Tookie 25. He's one of my oldest uh, subscribers that me and him, you know, that we have met each other. In. He lives in Florida. Uh, Monfidel One, one of my old school subscribers. Um, I mean, this is years before I even met Everyday RC, you know. So, you know, a lot of old school people that come to visit and they're still very loyal to to hanging in there and stuff like that. And I'm glad I'm able to showcase these things to you. And as I babble on, uh, let me come across and go by. Uh, Ghost says, I was pissed. Bobby Q says that monster truck is nothing more than a swing set for his little girls. <laughs> That's funny. Earl says, R1 riding through the streets of New York, empty, Geo. It would be fire. Yo, I didn't even think of that. Shit. <laughs> um, uh, Earl says, Bobby Q, so true. Uh, Arma says, wait, wait. Uh, Jack H says, uh, I hate haters. It's like we're grown ass men, not in high school. Yo, bro, I love haters, bro. Uh, the more haters I have, the better it is, man. The more haters you got, bro, that's that's the more fans you get, man. Um, let me see. Ghost RC says, laughing out loud. I uh, would be. She used to. Uh, would be me. She used to have to have you pissed, bro. Let me tell you, my poor. Anyway, say. Uh, Armor says, barbecue. Don't start more drama. Oh, man. Arma, how old are you? I'm just curious. Um, Earl says, um, Earl says, I want to see that wrestler out doing some speed passes, but not worth crashing it. No, man, I can't. I can never. I can take all the electronics out and all the gearing and everything like that, but it, the minute, oh, just, oh, 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 man, that would be, that would be heart, heartfelt hurting. Uh, there are parts I'll never get on that, ever. MTC Tiki says, yes, sir, one love. Oh, man, that's my, that's my boy right there. Uh, Icon, Icon RC says, did you get that piggyback shocks link? Yes, I did. I did get, I did get that piggyback shock links. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Go says, I love all my haters. Of course. Arma... Are, are you even old enough to be in this thing? Barbecue says, it's actually facts. Arma, Arma, he's been talking about it for years. You haven't seen it, uh, seen it move, nor start, start a run, but, but how about the crush car? One of the guys purchased his get rich Christmas and didn't you oh yeah puh. uh let me see jack a says bro man my yo when you start hitting your 40s bro your eyes you can't pull far away enough man i'm telling you i'm, I'm like this trying to read 
Uh, let me see. Um, Jack A says, bro, how can I hold the front end of my two-wheel rustler down? It's so fast, just want to lift up. Put the, put the weights in front of it. You have to drop the springs. Look at my old videos. You drop the springs. You put um, a fuel line in the shock and some on the outside so it doesn't bottom out totally. So the car stays flat like this. And then um, put some weight. And then you should be good to go. Uh, let me see. Uh, Tracy says, oh, it's past your bedtime. Laughing out loud. Uh, goodness, just because I don't say things, uh, I think, uh, you think, yo, yo, it's 10 p.m. Do you know who your children are? <laughs> it's 10 15. What the hell's going on here? Uh, let me see. Um, Earl says, Tracy, I'm too old and this is my bedtime. Laughing out loud. MTC Tiki 25, ha ha ha, Gio says, uh, is he too old to be enough to the chat? Well, I don't know, man. I put I put this down for kids, man. It's not suitable for children. So, um, Amra says, I mean, I'm silly. I'm a silly grown person. It's like to be silly. I'm an old as energy that needs. Okay? Lewis LPRC says, I'm back. I'm back here in the city night, right? Yo, bro, I gave you a shout out, man. I Hopefully you were driving and listening, bro. Um... Go says MT, uh, MTC Tiki, LLS. Uh, barbecue says, be safe, Lewis. Marcus says, good information in this live. Oh, I'm glad you're able to uh, get some good info, man. Definitely check out the, the, the before stuff because you're able to see all the stuff that I had on there. Uh, let me see. Lewis, um, what, are these, uh, what are these bodies you're showing? Lewis, you missed a lot. <laughs> You miss a lot of stuff happening, bro. There's, still, there's tons of bodies under here, bro. Uh, <laughs> Lewis, Lewis says, I missed it. I was driving. <laughs> Earl says, Lewis. <laughs> uh, let me see. All slash options, Lewis. <laughs> uh, let me see. Fine, I'll say, darn it. I'm 32. BS, bro. You're not 32. Uh, maybe three or two. I don't know. Uh, Lewis is laughing out loud. So look, um, guys, uh, love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Uh, a lot more people were in the chat. I think this was very informative to see a little bit of history of these slash four by fours slash two wheel drive LCGs and the HCGs. I'm glad you guys were able to stop by and check a few things out. Um, that being said, uh, the next video I will let you guys vote on. Should I do the Mini E Revo with the with the mini grave digger. Should I do the two Traxxas rallies? Um, should I do the oh, the Teton is still by itself as well? My God. Well, we'll figure something out. What is what is the next RC you guys want to check out? Arma says, "Wow, I'm leaving. Goodbye." Oh, uh, you say goodbye. Uh, Earl says thanks, Gio, for the live. Uh, for the live, as always, thank you very much, Earl. Uh, Alma says I can't freaking type. Okay, let me see. Keep up the good work. That's from the wall. Thank you very much. Ghost is killing for that limitless. Oh man, I'm gonna mess with you guys. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm not able to do it? No. Oh, snap. The camera doesn't work. Interesting. Dun, 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 dun. I know you guys are jonesing for that limitless. There, there are things that I have on that, that, that I have coming for that thing. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Ethan says, do you live stream every day? Um, lately? Yeah. If you look at my older videos, yo, guys, tell them. I, I just stopped. I stopped completely. So, um, I stopped. I stopped when I started, um, <laughs> the 
TRX4 Sport Yankees edition is when I stopped. Um, Tracy wants the mini Revo. Ghost is looking for the Limitless. Noel wants your the mini rallies. Uh, MTC Tookie wants the mini Revo. Earl says, Ghost, you got a dragster today. You want to see 100. At Lewis LPRC, it's later, Gio. I have to start working. Later, fellas. Yo, have a good night, my man. Safe travels. Um, Ghost says, hey, Earl, I was just about to watch that next. Chase Lee says, stop teasing us, Earl. Make the video. Earl says to Lewis, later. Armour says, crap doodles and poo. I can't be silly. <laughs> ah, that is what it is. All right, so uh, I guess the next video will be the E-Revo and the Mini uh, Grave Digger. Uh, personally, I think the Mini E-Revo needs its own video. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, hopefully this video was informative to you. If you like the content that I'm doing with the live feeds, uh, definitely put me down. If you're in here, you're most likely part of my notification squad. If you're not, hit that bell. Uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, like I said, if you guys think I'm making tons of money, you're absolutely wrong. I'm not. I'm not going to tell you you're going to make $100,000 by watching my channel or talking to me. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, if if you come across and and do whatever I need you to do, whatever. You know, uh, this is a, a custom RC channel. Um, other RC channels do their thing. I don't hate on that. Let them do their thing. Uh, if you're looking to have a lot of customized things and a lot of tips and tricks of what industry transpires in the RC game. I have tons of RCs to show you guys. If you like BSing with me and just, you know, uh, just chilling, kind of like if I'm in your living room and we're hanging and talking RC stuff, no problem. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up. Rate, comment, subscribe. And to all my followers up on YouTube. Later.